Hey folks, I hope that you're enjoying this Wyoming elk series from 2022. Those of you who subscribe to Fresh Tracks Plus, you got to see this earlier and you got to see it ad free. If you're interested in that, go out to freshtracks.tv and sign up. We appreciate your support. Thanks for watching. Spitzer, why didn't you shoot him? Super cool. Nice work, buddy. You're calling, stepping back. Came up to the tip top. Bo was headed back to camp to get llamas. To then go and pull this bull out of there. We continued on down this way because it's just good looking country. It's 1.30 in the afternoon and it is hot in the sun. So I think we're gonna sit and listen. Throw out some calls and see if we get any responses and then just head into dark timber in a little bit. We'll see. I don't know. I'm just jacked the bow got a bull. That was super cool. What a fun morning. in and we got a bull that's just going nuts here below us the last one was a growler and he turned out to be all bark and uh, not so much in age but this one sounds mature we'll see what he's got but he sounds like he wants to play so we're gonna go give it a shot Well, folks, Jason and I came back to camp and watered the llamas. And we said, yeah, about 3 o'clock, we'll head out, go do our afternoon hunt. Well, about 2.40, Mr. Bo Beatty shows up with a big smile on his face. He says, I need some llamas. I got to go haul the meat back to camp. So we offered to go help him, but he said, oh, no, you got elk to kill. So, if Bo says go kill elk, we're going to go kill elk. That's right. Don't let me down. <laughs> well, I'm jealous now. I want to join the party. I mean. It feels great. <laughs> but I don't know if I'm going to call one in the way you did. Yeah, that was pretty fun. I mean, when you call one in like that, you got to shoot him. Got to shoot him. Yeah, that just goes without saying. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'll probably be back around dark, so All right. I'll see you guys then. Huh? We'll be back after dark, because I'm sure we're going to hunt it till the last light. So Don't pull a bow, and if you shoot one and not in reach, you got to send a message. Trust me, if if I shoot one, you guys are going to be all worried about an old cobbled up fart like me, so I will send you a message. Jace will probably send you messages. We'll build a big fire and make smoke signals. And... <laughs> be safe. See you guys. <laughs> All right. Little 
lesson about when out there the sun is baking and it's 75 degrees. If everything's uphill, we come around this corner to a northeast facing slope. Even though it's 75 degrees out there, look which way in the shade. easy route on this trail from camp, but I saw a fork in the trail and I took us up through all this stuff, all the way over here, and we bumped three elk, which is what happens in the dark timber, you never shoot them, you bump them, but we got about another 45 minutes for the sun to go behind these ridges, then we're going to get a downhill thermal, those elk this morning, Last night, yesterday morning and the night before, they were all in this area up behind me here, about 800 yards away. So, they're that way. I'm trying to stay uphill of them so that even this warm thermal's going away from them. Because they're going to come down from that vector. We're going to come in from this vector. sitting here waiting for the sun to get in our favor. We just heard a shot right where those elk were this morning. I'm hoping it was Mike. Because they were up on top of the ridge. Maybe got a shot at one of them. I hope so. Now we got to make a decision. That one didn't want to play. So... Let's climb up. I'll go with the next side. I don't know if that shot came from up here or over there. We were down in, a, in the bottom of a drainage, so it was hard to tell. So I'm 
gonna roll the dice and go with my original plan, which is 900 yards straight north and about 200 feet of elevation gain. So calm and quiet right now. The wind, or, or the sun is just about to drop over that ridge, and when it does, we're gonna see a dramatic change in the wind. Right now it's not right here in the shade, it's going downhill. Out here in the sun, it's gonna be going mostly that way. And I'm going that way, so I'm gonna have about a 90 to 120 degree vector of the wind as a crosswind. So slightly in my face to possibly straight down. So should be fine. Right 
way further than I'd planned on going over there. But we heard some bugling up here. We get close, we get close, and boom! And then we see Hunter up here. I don't know if it's him or if Mike was in here. And then we try to skirt around this Hunter. And we see a bull at 360, so we run up this ridge. Got it to 3.33, but just last light, having just run up a long ways, I just wasn't, wasn't going to take that shot. So, back out of here. I just sent Marcus a text, or an in range, because if Mike's got a bull down here, we may as well stay here and help him. But I don't know where they're at. Another spot. It's getting to be the golden last couple hours of life. So we're gonna see what we can turn up. We've been listening, we've been trying to get some calls and the you elk know, haven't been talking, but we've got a bull deep down in this pit that's bugling. up over there one more time. Let's give it a good look. And then just work our way down this side over this here. Ridge. This ridge. Looking down into that. And then just start covering some ground.
got me a dress stop him. What? I need him to get out there. He's stop him. Shit, he's behind a tree. He's still got 10 more feet. How do you think so? Hit him. We got a ball. Opening day. <sighs> We've been hiking around. Bill got a ball this morning. We're as far as we're a long ways from camp, but that was awesome. There's so much going on out here, they're just screaming. Reviewed the shot in the video, like confident, put a great shot on him. Heard kind of a, heard some crashing and heard kind of that like death gruntle, gruntle. <laughs> heard some crashing and heard that like the death groan. And so he's right down here, it's just thick. So hopefully we can find him before it gets dark, but that was awesome, so cool. Today was one of the best days I've ever had hunting. It was so much fun. This is rad. Bo's gonna be pumped. Randy's gonna be pumped. I wish they were here. I'm gonna get working on this guy. It's definitely gonna get dark, but if we can get him, get the meat pulled away from the carcass, there's plenty of trees to hang it on and uh, come back. There's no shortage of bulls in this little spot. So when we come back tomorrow, Randy's coming with us and we might have Randy shoot a bull in here. <laughs> That's awesome. So grateful for this opportunity. Good people. Take this animal, have some fantastic meat for the year. It's just, 
What more can you ask for? We're lucky. And today was a fantastic opening day, the best general season opener I've ever had. So I'm excited to see Bo and Randy. I know they're going to be pumped. And uh, yeah, so are our families. Plenty of good meat. And when you get one on opening day, you get home that much sooner. I know our wives will be happy because there's plenty of hunting left to do this season. So what a day. Got the meat hung, good distance from the carcass, upwind of it, and uh, yeah, they say they got spaghetti for us at camp via satellite messenger, so now we just got, I don't know, probably three miles or so, and be home, ready for a good night's rest, and then we get to find Randy a bull tomorrow, so pretty epic opening day, like I can't think of. Never experienced one like this. It was, it was a lot of fun. So now just back to camp and get some food. That's ah, a good hike out of there. We're a couple hours from the bowl. Just about to camp. It's a little further than we've thought. And uh, this ridge trail is not continuous. So, uh, <laughs> had, had to struggle to find it a few times, but we got it. Now another 20 minutes we'll be at camp eating some spaghetti is what Bo said he's got, so I'm ready for it. Yeah. Hey guys. Good it job, was dude. awesome, man. <laughs> what look a day. Look at that tomorrow. It was so cool. One shot kill, it sounded like. One shot did it. Six point? Five by six. He's got one yes. size six. He's pretty. My bull could probably kick your bull's butt in a fight, though. That's true. Just so you know. It grew, the growler <laughs> was impressive. Congratulations, man. Thanks. It was. I mean, we went out to that triangle. The furthest? The furthest. Oh, wow. And uh, there were so many bulls. No way. Like, we went down to get him after I killed him, and there were two bulls we had to, like, chase away. No way. Like, nice bulls. It was just like that, that little spot's loaded. They were screaming, growling. It was pretty cool. No way. It was, it was neat. It was neat tonight. Well, get your backpacks off, get your plates, I'll feed you, and uh, we'll tell stories. Yeah.